all right guys welcome to another video so basically in this video what we're going to be looking at is just how to create a relationship in in this mysql database or workbench so basically i'm going to show you how you can do it using the graphical part and then i'm going to show you the, the scripting how to do the scripting thing as usual which is my favorite however for this is a database that we have here that i made the other day so this is an help me a help me database with three tables a comments table post table and users table but um, I had a relationship database before, and that's the database that I'm going to be using to create this this relationship. So we can go here and open, and we can say new model. This is for if we want to use like like say for instance this database here. So we can go ahead and we can say new model, and this will show the database. So this is the physical schema I think we probably could we can add new databases from here but I'm not going to do that so yeah that's basically what we can do we can double click here to add the ER diagram if we had the tables if we had the tables we could just drag them here and whatever and that would that would create a relationship. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open the database. So I'm going to say open model. And this will this is the relationship database. By clicking on that, as you'll see, it may automatically connect. Yep. Because we have a we have the keys here. So we have the, the ID or whatever there so that's um what will show so let me just remove this we're just going to, i'm just going to remove them and show you how easy it is to create a relationship so this is the database that we have and we just click to show the tables all we need to do is just to drag and drop drag and drop and this will create the relationship that we need we can change the relationships here these are some other features that we can use to to um, go ahead to make a, a great um, database the, um, thing here diagram database diagram we also have these so we can create like custom these are custom user um, thing custom timestamp and custom categories so we can just add like like maybe we could add a some sort of um, id in here primary key and it will automatically link these these don't really have anything in them i think if i click here you can see we don't really have any data in these but uh, i think you got the point that i was trying to do that's how simple it is to actually create this table right here let me go ahead and clear these off and I'm going to show you how to create this thing using the this database here and the scripting language so basically what I'm going to show you now is what we have so I'm going to say select all from and uh, let's do comments first and control enter to um, just a shortcut I could just click that but this is all we have here so we have these things this this column this column here post ID ID user ID or whatever and let's look at this I think would be the foreign key for this thing publish date well I wrote it out. <laughs> Alright, so these are 
the users and then we have posts so these are some basic stuff like post one that the title the body this is post one just some basic stuff now i want to show you um how we could do our or join of these tables so we're going to do a join the join that we're going to do is an inner join for this table so now you will see like a scripting way how we can link or create a relationship between between the tables that we're creating so basically what we need to do is we need to select and we're going to select some of some of these um these columns we're going to select some of the columns that we have here so i'm going to select first the users dot first name so so the user's first name i'm going to select the user that last name as well and as you can see we can use a tab also in this thing which is great and we're going to select the post uh, let's say the post title we can select anything that we want basically yeah we can select basically anything that we want out of any one of these tables it's just that with the linking we have to use either the primary key or the, or the foreign key and then we can select the post that um, publish it and where we're going to select these is well our post title and the publish date oh, i don't have an id i like to have an id so let's get the users um that id i think that's the name of it so the user is the id let me go ahead and look i like to have an id so I selected an ID and you know what? I also want your Gmails as well. So I'm going to select users email. And I can also select from the, the comments column as well. So let's see if there is what's in the comments that I would like. So let's go ahead and select comments dot um, that body okay. no I don't want to I don't need it all right so let me get rid of this that should not be there so now we're going to get all of these from the users and we're going to do an inner join as I said earlier and we're going to do this inner join on the post column oh we're having an error here because we left off the, the, the comma so we're doing the inner join on the post and we're going to have this on users.id and we're going to equal this to the post dot username so this is the link this is where the linkage is going to happen by these ids so the users the id on the post dot users underscore id and just to finish this off we're just going to order order which i probably did not show you but in future videos we're just going to order by order by any one of these probably should have left the id so we could just use it or we use all of these let's just use the title and end it with our semicolon i'm going to press this thing so you can see and execute and we have an error publish i spelled this incorrectly that should be published date let's go ahead and execute now what the hell what did i do now users users underscore id 
Wait, why that? Oh, this should be. Let's see. Okay. So, this should actually be user and not users. Uh, here we go. So, as you can see, this ID is from the users. The first name and the last name is from the users. But, let's see. The title. The email is probably from the users as well. Okay, the email is from the users. Yeah, but the title, the title is there's no title in users, so you know that there is now a linkage via the post. So we have a post title here and a publish date here. Yeah, so this is basically how you create despite a little few errors but this is basically how you can do a table let me just run it again so you can see the graphical you know, graph, not really graphical but just so uh, how it looks and as you can see we order by the title or whatever so yeah this is basically how you do this thing and there is one more thing. This video is sponsored by by this company, which is Dory Services. So let me do a Bing search, and this is moving a little bit slow. But this is this is it here. Say so it's an online shopping website for local businesses, basically in jamaica i this is my coupon code slash fresh ims 37 so i'm just going to select all and copy that this is my coupon code what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a product to the cart any product here because they sell um basically a lot of things for different companies so I add that thing to the cart. Basically, um, if you use my coupon code, what you will get is, and we're just going to go to the cart and edit here. So if you if you should use my coupon code, what you will get is a. So this is where we put the, the, the coupon discount code. I copied it, so I'm just going to paste it there. If you type it out, it's not case sensitive or anything. You'll get a one if you use this code, you'll get a one thousand dollar discount of, of any purchase that is over two thousand five hundred dollars, if I remember correctly. And you can also pay with PayPal, PayPal credit, Visa card, MasterCard, and these other ones, which we don't really use in Jamaica or whatever. Or well, I don't know, but these are just the main ones that I'm pointing out. So as you can see here, we the, you use the coupon code Fresh IM thirty seven, and the discount is actually one thousand one dollars um, seventy nine cents. So basically, you got a you got a great discount from this website. This is one of the website that. This is one of the uh, stores that actually sell them it. So here is a list. This is one of them, and basically, there. This is our. This is a drop down menu from from them, which shows different products that you can you can purchase from this website here. So go ahead, check it out. Make sure you use my discount code. I'll leave the link for this website in the description and the code also in the description. So yeah, this is the end of our video. If you have any questions or any comments or anything, please feel free to just comment them in the comment section. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will never miss a post.